Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne. And today I am very excited to announce the more complete integration of Melodyne and ARA into Pro Tools. So we've got a whole new series of videos that is going to outline how much easier this is going to make your life. Now, it may also necessitate some changes in the way that we work. So we're going to be covering these across these videos. So let's dive in. Now, first things first, we're going to have some new people here who are not used to working with Melodyne. So I want to show you just how easy it is to get started editing with Melodyne, right? I've got a session right here with some lead vocals. I'm going to click on this clip right here and just right click. And when I scroll down, you'll see that the word Melodyne and I'm going to hit edit. And just like that, Melodyne has analyzed all of the audio that was in that clip right there. And right now, I can easily grab one of these notes and edit the audio. Just like that. It is that simple, that easy to get started editing in Melodyne. Okay, now let's take a look at a few things here. For those of you that are new to Melodyne, I want to explain something about this interface. And the main things you're going to need to see are going to be that there's a blob, which is pretty much what Melodyne analyzes as a specific note. And then there is also the line that travels through that blob, which is really the pitch at any given instant. So we get a lot of visual information here that will help us make some timing choices and maybe some pitch choices as well. All right. Now in Melodyne Essential, which comes bundled with Pro Tools, that's what I'm using here today. You'll see that we have a couple of different tools that we can use. You can access them across the top. For example, there's the grabber tool, which allows you to move, or the moving tool, which allows you to move around. There is the zoom tool, which allows you to zoom in and out. And then there is also the main tool, which functions as a multi-tool, and I'm going to show this to you. By the way, these tools and some other edit options are also available. If you right-click on the edit window right here, you'll see that we can choose between the tools. This is called the context menu, and it gives us some other editing options as well, such as undo the changes. Okay. Now, this works as a multi-tool, as I said before, the main tool. So I'm going to show you, when you hover over a blob, like so, you'll notice that we get some red vertical and horizontal lines. This is delineating how this tool works. In the middle, in the center, it functions as the pitch tool. So I can grab this note and change the pitch of it. On either side, it functions as the timing tool, so I can grab it and change the phrasing, change the length of a word or of a note right there. And then across the top, it functions as the separation tool. Sometimes one note might work better if you separate it into two. So you can just come across the top right here and double click and it will separate this into multiple notes. Now, you may have noticed as I was editing these notes that they had smooth, continuous motion, more or less like slip mode in Pro Tools. If you'd like it to function more like grid mode in Pro Tools, where it adheres to the lines of the grid, you can come over here to Melodyne's timing grid and choose your subdivision and then turn that grid on or click on it again to turn that grid off. Melodyne also has a pitch grid, which works in a similar way, except that it constrains your movement to intervals. So if I turn this on, now when I try and change a note, You'll notice it does intervallic jumps like that. Okay, great. So again, very easy to get started and editing inside Pro Tools with Melodyne. Now, you also may have noticed that when I'm editing a note, it's making a sound, it's making a pitch. And for example, if you move a note, it shows you the pitch that's happening at that moment. It shows you what you are adjusting. If you don't like that, you can easily come over here to your settings and where it says monitor when editing blobs and turn that off. I find it to be very useful if you're trying to find the note exact right pitch, not using your eyes and slide it up to where it sounds best. And what it's doing in that exact moment is synthesizing and looping exactly where your cursor is based on this pitch line that we talked about earlier. So for example, if I hold this over a lower point in the pitch line, like here, it sounds different than if I hold it over an upper point in the pitch line, like here. 
again, it's just to help you find pitch as in a synthesized version of that. As you play back, you can hear the audio sounds much more natural on its own. Okay, great. Now, a key factor to think about when you're working with Melodyne, and here we are in Melodyne Essential, is the different things that you can edit. In Melodyne Essential, you can edit monophonic voices or instruments. You can edit rhythmic instruments like drums or percussion. You can even edit whole mixes in terms of time stretching them or transposing them. And you'll want to make sure that you're using the right algorithm. Melodyne extrapolates different information depending upon what kind of audio you're working with. So choosing the right algorithm is key. Most of the time, Melodyne will choose the right algorithm on its own. If for whatever reason it doesn't, you can just come right over here to where we see algorithm and choose universal. That's great for whole mixes percussive for rhythmic elements like like shakers and tambourines and drums. Melodic is monophonic for voice and bass and horns. And then we see some polyphonic options right here. For some of you that are brand new to Melodyne with Pro Tools, there's a couple things you have to do to get started for activation and registration. Number one, you have to download the new version of Melodyne. The good news is, is that's included in the new version of Pro Tools. So there's nothing to do there. Apart from that, the first time you try and open up Melodyne, it will ask you for a serial number. Clicking on that will take you to the Celimony website. You can go to your Avid account and copy over the license number and just paste that right into the Celimony account and you'll be good to go, ready to start working from there. All right, so let's go back here for a minute and look at a couple other ways to put Melodyne on a track. There's a few ways that we can do this. Now, as I showed you earlier, you can right click on a clip and come down to where it says Melodyne and choose edit and it will put Melodyne on that clip. You can also come over here to a track, for example, this track right here and right click on the name and here we see Melodyne and we can edit it and this will put Melodyne across the whole track. It doesn't really make a difference if you put Melodyne on a small clip or across the whole track in terms of RAM or CPU. No matter what, when you put Melodyne on a clip, it is interpreting and analyzing all of the data before it and after it. So it can give you accurate information about the key of the song or the chords that are in that song as well. So you don't have to worry about it increasing or decreasing the computer usage. But it is nice to be able to just select one clip and edit that without worrying about editing anything else there as well. You can also select multiple clips or multiple tracks if you would like to put Melodyne across multiples. For example, I can select these three tracks right here and holding shift option, which is the Pro Tools command for all selected, I can right click and come over here to Melodyne and go to edit and it will put Melodyne across all three of those tracks right there. Now it'll take a second because it's three tracks to analyze all the data, but once it's analyzed, you're ready to go. This is so much faster than it used to be in the older version of Melodyne. I think you're really gonna enjoy working this way. Okay, great. Now, a couple of last final notes that I wanna go over to talk about today. If you already have Melodyne, Four. This will not automatically upgrade you to Melodyne 5. And if you have one of the upper tiers of Melodyne 4, you may not want to install this because going from Melodyne 4 Studio to Melodyne 5 Essential may not be a downgrade that you want to make. If you already have Melodyne 5, you can easily just uh, upgrade this. You can easily just update this and it will not downgrade you in any way. You'll still have all the tools and flexibility you had before with now all the added tools and flexibility in ARA. If you have Melodyne 4 and you wish to upgrade or if you have Melodyne 5 Essential and you wish to upgrade from there, you can go to the Celimony site. There's an excellent breakdown of the various tiers of Melodyne. Now, some of you may have purchased Melodyne Essential last week and now it comes bundled with Pro Tools. Don't be upset. You're not out of luck. There's a couple of things you can do. One, you could take that voucher and sell it on eBay, or you can use that voucher for a discount in upgrading. Again, that's very easy to do right on the Celimony website. I hope you've enjoyed this today. We've got a lot more videos coming up to show you the extra cool things that you can do with Melodyne and ARA and Pro Tools. Take care.